Community gathered to remember Pierce County Deputy Kent Mundell. He was shot and killed 10 years ago near Eatonville. It is a devastating loss, still felt every day. Kyra 7's Allison Grandy attended the vigil, and she is live in South Hill. Allison. Simney, they held the vigil right here outside the South Hill precinct. These are the flowers that were brought to remember Deputy Kent Mundell. And then right behind it here, this is the list of deputies who've been killed here in Pierce County. And third from the bottom there is Kent Mundell. If you see that date right there, December 28, 2009, he died 10 years ago tonight. And so this is where they met tonight to gather to remember Deputy Kent Mundell. They came to light candles and to pray and to remember the man who meant so much to so many people. Deputy Kent Mundell was shot responding to a domestic violence incident near Eatonville. He was taken off life support one week after he was shot. That was 10 years ago today. His family and law enforcement family gathered here to remember him and his sacrifice. Mundell's daughter was 16 when he was killed. Now she's preparing to go into law enforcement. It's hard, um, mostly because I haven't really done any vigils or anything like that since the one year anniversary. Um, and then it's also really hard just knowing that there's another family going through what I went through um, right now. And Kristen Amos actually met Deputy Cooper Dyson because she's been doing a lot of ride-alongs here in South Hill because she wants to also be a deputy. So these are the flowers and items brought to remember and honor Deputy Cooper Dyson. And that is one reason Kent Mundell's daughter came out tonight. She hadn't been to one of these vigils in nine years, but she wants Dyson's family to know that she'll be there for them, just like the other families in this terrible group who have something awful in common, the other families of these deputies who've died, they're sticking together. They're helping each other through life without those deputies because they say it's easier doing it together because no one knows what it's like but them. Live in South Hill, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.